in some cold grits. I'm too sexy for this chain. Too sexy for your game. Too sexy for this fame. Yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap. Too sexy for that cap. Too sexy for that chap. What's up, you guys we are back with another hair review today i'm working with a new company called cryo hair and i hope i'm saying that right it's either cryo hair or Kriya hair I, of course we'll have their name on the screen but i will be putting on a curly unit y'all know curly units are my jam because they're just that easy get up and go hair so of course you get your box you get a bag of goodies like every hair company and then this is the unit that I'm going to be reviewing today. This is a 22 inch honey blonde wavy unit. The details, the link, everything will be down below as usual. Uh, it, there is a middle part. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it down the middle. I might. I might just keep it down the middle or I might do like a comb over like a little finger comb over. I'm not really sure yet. But anyways, if you guys want to see how she looks on your girl's head, then stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I did pluck off camera. Okay, let me see what the length is giving. Let's see the length. Okay, yes, Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce. Okay, let me cut this lace off and make some baby hairs. I just do a little zigzag. I don't try to make the edges all perfect, but I do do a little zigzag. <clears throat> okay, lace is off. So next I'm gonna do some baby hairs. Let me adjust this part because this part is like really short. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. Let me see how much parting space I have. Oh, I can't make it that much longer. I could, oh, I could do like half an inch more. So then I always just pluck my part, pluck the part just to define it a little bit more. These baby hairs aren't even going to show because the hair is going to be covering it up. But let me go ahead and do the other one on this side. I've accidentally made this side too thick. Oops. It's okay. Like I said, it's going to be covered up. I don't, baby hairs is just something I just do not focus on at all. Okay, so baby hairs are done. I am not gluing this wig down. With all my glueless units, I just, oh my God, I sprayed myself in the eyeball. Oh, Jesus. I spray with hairspray around the edges. Stick down a little bit, but not be glued down. You know what I mean? In case the wind wanna act funny, you know, I'm not chasing my wig down a parking lot. <laughs> so, and then we tie our wig band on and we wait. Now comes the fun part. You can definitely wear your hair just like this, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put my products in there. So I always start with water. I'll do one side at a time so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so next I always go in with mousse. Next I have a leave-in conditioning cream. Oh, it smells so good, oh my gosh. And then I use just the little bit, littlest amount of oil with product, without product. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And then I'm going to let my hair dry for maybe like 30 minutes off camera. Okay y'all, so it's been about an hour. It's about 75% dry. This is what the curl pattern looks like. So let's get this band off. Like I told you guys, the baby hair, you can't even see them. You, you, can't, you can't see them. That's why I don't put too much effort into them. But this is the final product. This is the final result of this unit. So let me scoot back. Let me show you the length on me. 
This is 22 inches, so it just comes right to the top of my chest. But the color is what has your girl in a chokehold. Like, it's, it's the color, okay? So you guys definitely check out Korea Hair. There will be a coupon code down below in the description box. Let me see how it looks behind my ear. But all right, you guys, thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And yeah, I'm about to get dressed. Okay, y'all, I got a few errands to run. This is my outfit that I picked out. Hopefully it looks cute. Hopefully these leggings still fit because I ain't worn these leggings in about a year and I've gained weight. So hopefully they still fit. Usually those one size um, fits all leggings, no matter if I lose, gain, lose, gain, they usually always fit. So let me, yeah, let me put some clothes on and then Am I taking y'all with me to run errands? Do y'all want to come with me to run errands? It's going to be boring. It ain't going to be fun. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. The leggings still fit. These are just some leggings I got from either Dee Dee's or Ross. I'm not sure. I haven't worn them in like a year. And I know I bought these probably about a good three or four years ago. This is a white tank top from Zara. Let's see what perfume we gonna wear. Oh, then the shoes are my, y'all know I ain't flexible, but my shoes are my uh, Balenciaga sock sneakers. I think we're gonna wear some Zara. Zara perfume for the Zara shirt. Y'all know I got this on clearance during their sale. Yes, we bathe in it. We bathe, we bathe, we bathe, we bathe, we bathe. Get the booty. Yes. Hmm, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I need some jewelry. I'm, I'm eating. <laughs> that perfume got in my mouth. Ew. Okay, y'all, so I'm putting all of my jewelry on. And before we leave out the house, I just have got to show you this new timepiece that I got from JBW. And I wanna thank them so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And this watch right here is from their new collection called The Arc. Take a look at that. So in their art collection, they do have, I believe, two watches with a leather band and then two watches with a crystallized band. I chose this watch right here with the leather band just because Mother's Day is around the corner and this watch right here is going to symbolize my mother. My mom loved a leather watch band and this watch band is genuine Italian leather and I got the color white because as you guys know my mom has passed and this just white just represents something angelic like an angel. So anytime I look down at my wrist I am going to know that this is just something to me that symbolizes her memory. So you guys Mother's Day is coming up around the corner so it is the perfect time to get your mother, your grandmother, whoever that mother figure is in your life to get them one of these beautiful arc watches. They're just super cute and dainty. This is how it looks with my other pieces of jewelry. Perfect, it's classy. And I just feel like it fits into anybody's wardrobe. So this new arc watch, it has 12 genuine S13 diamonds. It has 122 crystals in it. And then of course, the croc embossed leather. I know it's kind of hard to see, but baby, it just looks stunning. They are investment pieces. These are watches that will be in your wardrobe forever. Guys, check out JBW. I will have a link down below in the description box. Use my coupon code to save you some money. And like I said, Mother's Day is coming up. Treat that woman in your life, or if you are a mother yourself, baby, we need gifts. We need to be loved on, and we need to treat ourselves. So go ahead and treat yourself, or give your loved one, your husband, your boyfriend, give them a little hint. Tell them that you want a JBW watch. I recommend the new art collection, of course. So there's something in there for everybody. So don't skip the description box, get you a watch. I recommend this one, of course. So you, me and you can be matching. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I just, I absolutely, I just, I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, I need like a little snacky snack real quick. I'm watching my girl, Kristen Alexis. 
My girl done had that bonnet on almost the whole vlog. <laughs> but I love seeing the girlies get comfortable on camera. I just, I, I just really don't like when, and they have to be done up every single full face of makeup, outfit on point, hair done, can't have a chip nail. Like this real life here. Like, come on now, this, this is, this is real life. <laughs> But anyway, enough of that. We are finally, finally about to try these apple chips. Oop. I'm gonna press some buttons on the back of my camera. Hold up. Y'all know I bought these apple chips like two weeks ago, I wanna say. Or was it three? Anyway, finally bought these chips. A few of y'all said eat them with the tuna, so that's what I'm gonna do. Ugh. Ooh, that made me gag. Oh, I don't like the smell. Oh my God. So this is what they look like. They're green apple. Let me taste it by itself. Okay. This is not what I thought it was gonna be. I'm thinking it's gonna be like freeze dried and kind of like gummy. Y'all know what I mean. This is like an actual chip and it's tart and you can taste the hint of green apple. I could definitely not eat those by themselves. That's a hell no. Ugh. They're not nasty, y'all. It's just different. Let me say that. It's different. Okay, so <clears throat> we have some rotisserie. Uh, tuna salad. I'm lying. Chicken salad. Oh, Jesus. The girlies were saying that this is good. Oh, shoot. try one more it's not nasty it's definitely not nasty but i'm trying to think of what i actually eat it like this it's good i mean i guess it's something different than your traditional cracker you're not saving carbs you're not saving calories you're not saving sugar you're not saving sodium oh you are saving sodium scratch that it's zero sodium so that's really good actually but it's high in sugar, high in carbs, high in calories. So, so the consensus is not good by themselves, but they're pretty good with the tuna. Chicken salad, my bad. Okay, y'all, I am probably not gonna vlog today or I might not vlog much because I have to go pick the kids up now. I have a lot of errands to do. The kid's dad is picking them up to take them somewhere today. So it's like, I have to try to hurry up and get all my errands done before it's time for him to start his stuff with the kids. And y'all just know sometimes vlogging with this big old camera and trying to remember to pull my camera out, sometimes it's in the way. So don't be mad at me, okay? Do not be mad. But if I do vlog, it might just be a little bit. So let me go, my alarm already went off. So I don't wanna be late. You know, Ashton gonna be like, Mom, what took you so long? <laughs> What's up, y'all? Okay. Ooh, is my wig forward enough? It's giving a little bit too much forehead. Anyways, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Gina Janine. I like to think of myself as your thick best friend. Why? Because everybody needs a thick best friend. Guys, girls, everybody. And if you like what you see in today's video, Go ahead, girl. Subscribe. It's free. Free 99, okay? So, y'all, it is Saturday. I am... I've been watching, like, YouTube videos all day. Like, literally all day. I took a nap today. Well, I woke up... I went to sleep last night around 3.30. And then somebody called my phone at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Pissed me off. I could not go back to sleep. So, I was up from, like, 7 to 10 and then I took like an hour and a half nap. And then I got up, showered, got dressed, and voila, here we are. Oh, so we're about to go to the, I need to go to the mall. And I think I'm gonna treat myself to a lunch, like a, like, like a decent lunch, you know what I mean? Not no going to pot bellies and eating a sandwich in the car. <laughs> Okay, y'all, this is today's outfit, real 
streetwear, I guess. <laughs> I'm finally wearing my gallery department t-shirt. Y'all know I ordered this t-shirt. I want to say when I first moved in this house, maybe like a month after I moved in this house. So, yep, this one is the real deal. Y'all know I got a couple from um, Jerley's Chief from a sponsorship, but this one is the real, 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 real one. I want to order some more just because, you know, he black. You got to support the black folks. So, yep, gallery department. These jeans are just some Fashion Nova, like, boyfriend jeans, I guess. Mm -hmm. They're high rise. They don't have any gapping in the back. That's why I love them so much and they're like wide leg. You can see like they're like wide at the bottom and then my landing sneakers, my yellow Givenchy bag that I hardly ever wear. I got this off Poshmark. Um, I really like it, you know, it's just yellow. It just don't go with a lot of stuff. So I said I was gonna, if I buy any more like designer bags, they need to be like colors. Cause I got so many black and I got so many brown or not brown, but like Louis Vuitton monogram. But anyway, so this to look y'all. I need some coffee, so let's do it. This is this young man. I see him out here all the time. Look at him. He got his artwork. I love it. He is talented. All right, boo. Be safe. <laughs> Y'all, look at his artwork. He's out here all the time. I always give him a nice little tip. Um, I really need to ask him how much the artwork is because as much as I tipped him, I, I deserve a painting. <laughs> but anyway, I just love, I love supporting my people. He was hounding me about getting her to the eye doctor. Did I tell you about that fiasco? No. Took her to the eye doctor, girl. Gina, first of all, they... I love this. It's giving Ashley Banks. What's the price? There's no price. Oh my God. A cropped Chanel jacket. Wow. Wow. How much is this? Is there a price? 4000 In another life, y'all. In, um, Neiman's now but y'all Tom Ford has like a beach bag well a tote let me call it a tote oh my goodness so these are the smaller ones which is actually a really good size and then this is like the big like regular tote size I love this oh wow <laughs> home i've been home for about sure nothing showing i've been home for a few hours i'm lying maybe two hours i'm talking about a few two maybe even less than two but anyway let me do a quick little haul i only bought two things like literally two things so i went to aritzia i've never ever ever shopped in aritzia before i didn't even know we had an aritzia until I started seeing people in their vlogs do like Aritzia try on hauls. And I'm like, oh, we been had an Aritzia. I just ain't never went in there because I didn't even know what kind of store it was. Anyway, Aritzia to, reminds me of like Zara, but younger, the younger, more the basics of Zara. If that makes any sense. Because y'all know Zara has a section of like slacks, blouses, blazers, some stuff that could even like style a woman into like her 60s like y'all know y'all know how, how zara is they have a mix of like streetwear casual basics and then like i'm a diva in the office you know to me aritzia is more like the zara's basic streetwear kind of like a lot of sweatshirts and hoodies leggings crop tops leather pants shackets they have like a little athleisure wear little section. Anyway, I'm probably the only person who has never been to Aritzia. That's why I'm describing it to y'all. Like y'all ain't never been, but I'm the late bitch to the party. You know, so 
Anyway, and it's a little bit more expensive than Zara, in my opinion. I was shocked. I'm like, why is this little tank top $40? At Zara, this would be about like $27, $29. Why is these sweatpants $70? At Zara, these are like $50, $60. So it's a little bit higher than Zara, but the quality might be just a hair better. Okay? So anyway, I got talked into buying something. Y'all know I always have, not anxiety, because I, I know that's the wrong word, but I can buy a pair of shoes, I can buy a handbag, and I will be perfectly fine with my decision. But when it comes to clothing, it is so hard for me to buy clothing that's over a certain price point. Like this shirt, I was fine spending over $200 on this t-shirt because it's a black owned company. So I was like, I'm gonna support like $200 is fly. I like it, it's popular and it's black owned. Like that's just, that's the cherry on top. <sighs> but y'all know 99.999% of my wardrobe is Dee Dee's and Fashion Nova with sprinkles of Skims and Forever 21. That literally sums up my wardrobe. Let me pull this out. I ain't even tried on y'all. A jumpsuit. And this was a hundred dollars. $100. The girl was just telling me how good it's gonna look on me. Cause I was like, this is a store for like skinny chicks. Like everything that I'm seeing is like small, medium. I saw maybe 10 size extra larges in everything that I picked up. Everything else was small, extra small, double X small. She told me to get this. I said, I didn't want to try it on. She said, trust me, a medium is gonna fit you, a medium. So anyway, I got this. It's just a halter jumpsuit. Now the material is like something I ain't never had before. I ain't never had nothing in this material. Like this material is amazing. I wish they had some leggings in this material. They may have, and I just didn't look hard enough, but this material is amazing. So I'm going to be trying this on later. Well, probably in a few minutes. Anyway, so yep, a jumpsuit. I'll let you guys know if it fits. And if it does fit, then of course I'll show y'all. If it don't fit, I'm going to let y'all know that too. Then I went to Chanel. So I've already like opened it up and I sent Jennifer pictures. So that's why it's not all. Y'all know it'd be having a bow on here and all the packages all pretty. It ain't laid there right now. So anyway, you get your dust bags for your shoes. Do people actually use these? I don't know. I guess they're good for like traveling. Anyway, I told you guys I'm into like the more understated where it doesn't have to just have logo, logo, logo like all over it. So I got these. I thought these were cute. Let me take the little thing off. These are so cute. My light won't let me. Let me turn my light off for a second. Ugh. Okay, so these are them. Just some black um, little slide sandals. They have the CC right there. They have the quilting. Oh. Anyway, y'all, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I'm probably not doing nothing. I got so many compliments on my outfit and on my hair today. So many. Like, people were just stopping me in the mall and were like, I love your outfit. Your outfit is so pretty. You're so pretty. Your hair. Oh, my God. You have Beyonce hair from the early 2000s. Oh, my God. I, I was like, really? I'm like, this outfit. That's bothering me. I'm like, this outfit. T-shirt tied up. Some jeans and sneakers. I didn't think it was. I had dudes come up to me telling me they like my outfit too. So I was like, when a dude comes up to you and compliments you, and more than one dude, I think two two dudes came up to me. No, I'm lying. Two dudes came up to me, and one dude walked past me real quick, and he was like, ooh, you did that. So I'm like, okay. So more for the um, oversized jeans. And I don't be getting compliments when I wear my leggings, my skims. So maybe I need to wear outfits like this more often, jeans. <laughs> Bitch! Bitch! What's the little dance sauce in Santana be doing? But bitch, this jumpsuit, bitch! Oh, I need every color. I need every Color. I'm about to order right now. Where, where is it? Oh, oh, oh. It lays flat right here. That's because it's a halter. I have my bra on. Of course, when I wear it, I will not be having a bra on. Oh my God. 
it is all the way down to my ankles. It is bunched up at my ankles because that's how long it is. Do you hear me? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so stretchy. Oh, oh. I'll be being extra, y'all. But it is so hard to find jumpsuits when you're tall and when you have a long torso. I think I'm, I think I'm considered having like a pretty long torso. They be pulling right here to where they be like making it look like your back and your butt is like all in one. And it's long, bitch. And I still have, uh, this is a medium. I need leggings in this material. This material? Okay, anyway. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. I need to stop sleeping on the places that y'all tell me about. I need to stop, okay? I'm just so caught up on DDs. I'm so caught up on having a $10, $15 outfit that I'm literally missing out on some good pieces. Like this is like a wardrobe staple. Yes, it was $100, but this is something that I can have for years. The material is so amazing that, okay, let me do some online shopping. Okay, y'all, it's like later, later. Um, I'm about to head out for drinks with a friend, a date, I don't know. Anyway, it's just like real casual, real chill. I just changed my clothes, but I'm not wearing anything like too snazzy. So I just, I still have my same diamond earrings. I put on a H&M choker. This is a little crop top from, I believe Target. Then these are some wide leg plaid pants from Fashion Nova. Then I have on some Zara shoes. I put my everything back in my black purse, like, Put on my JBW watch, gold jewelry. Like, I'm real, it's real chill. I was gonna keep on what I had on earlier, but I'm like, let me just put on something a little bit more girly, I guess. Even though I got a lot of compliments on that outfit, it's jeans and it's big old clunky sneakers. So I'm like, I don't need to put that on. So anyways, um, I probably won't be filming because, What's up, y'all? Happy Sunday. I don't think I'm gonna really be vlogging today, just being 100% honest. If I do, it'll just be on a whim, like right now. I'm just heated up some leftovers. These are my leftover oysters, fish, shrimp, and then one little sad wing. Uh, Jennifer's on her way over here because she needs a little fast track course on her new camera and on her new MacBook on how to edit, upload, just do like the basic things, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna help her out and try to, excuse me, teach her a little bit as much as I can. And I really don't have any plans today. I'll get the kids like later on tonight. Mm, I was gonna do Sunday fun day. I don't think I am. Yeah, I got home like late, late, late um, from the lounge that we went to last night. So the date was nice. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so that is all on my agenda for today, guys. Mm -hmm. Boring Sunday. Let me not say boring Sunday. It's a chill, recharge, reset Sunday. I just uh, text my tax man because the 15th is uh, uh, upon us. It's coming upon us very quickly. So I need to get my taxes done this week. I am scared, y'all. I'm scared. <laughs> I ain't scared, but you know just ugh, being an adult so anyways let me eat this good old food and i'll be back y'all say what's up to jen <laughs> she got the uh, sped up tutorial of how to work a macbook and a, her new camera baby my brain is on information overload i got so much information from the from the goat Oh, I like that title, The Goat. I, I accept that. I embrace that. But now we're about to do a little drinky drink. I know a lot of y'all said y'all did not like this one. This is... That's actually, good. That's the best one I've ever had, honestly. And I'm not a drinker. Yep. This is our new phase. So we're about to get a little, you know. Not a turn up, but you know, we're going we gonna to feel good. That's right. So I'm just doing orange juice, y'all. 
And a little bit of Minute Maid. A little splish splash. I got grenadine, but I don't feel like walking over there and getting it. I go get it. <laughs> Splash. I wish I had Sprite. A little splash. Not that Jennifer said grenadine sounds like an old lady's name. It does. Grandma grenadine. I'm going to Grandma grenadine's house. <laughs> it does. Oh, it does. And then y'all, a little splitted splash of grenadine. You know, it's certain names that just, to me, goes with the old person. Yeah, it does. Like Harold. Uh, that's an old man name. What? Y'all ever met a uh, Elroy. Elroy. That's definitely an old man name. That's black. Mm. How is it, friend? That's good. Is it? That is really good. Did she lick that spoon and put it back in my drink? Oh, I didn't. The spoon didn't touch my mouth, girl. Oh, just checking. Because we don't know what she does off camera. <laughs> Goodbye. Does it need more juice or it's good? Mm -mm, it's good. Yeah, this is good. Mm -hmm. Pomegranate Ciroc, y'all. Don't sleep on it. Since Jen is here, we can do a taste test of something. <laughs> Did y'all see my face? Oh, oh I do that. Bring it on. Okay, so I went to Aldi's day before yesterday, and before I walked out, I seen these pretty jars of peaches. They had three different flavors. This one is called Peaches with Vanilla. This one is called Peaches with Almonds and Amaretto. Then they also had a Peaches with Cinnamon. That didn't sound too appetizing, so I just got these two. I bet these would be good in a peach cobbler. Oh, probably amazing. Peaches with Amaretto. With Amaretto. Yeah. The bacon porridge, you out there? You need to go to Aldi and get some of that and make me a peach cobbler. And I'm not going to ask again. <laughs> that, was, that was a demand. A demand, not a request. Y'all, okay, so the reason she's heaving is because of how it looks. So it has almonds, just whole almonds at the top of it. This and the smell. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, wait, let me <laughs> That one don't smell that bad. This one better. That's better. We gotta eat that one. Bacon pork cancel. So you try that one first, I'm gonna try this one. She wanna try the one with these gallons. Y'all see how oh, they're huge. Things. Why are they so big? Hold on, cut it in half. I am. Put it like right here. I am. Okay, here we go. Oh god. Get your piece, bitch. Okay. Cheers. Y'all, the smell is terrible. Like, I can't even describe it. What does it smell like? It smells like, you know how you leave something wet? Like mildew-ish. Yeah, yeah, it stinks. It stinks like, it really bad. stinks. Okay, we're moving on to the peaches with vanilla. Let's hope we have better luck with this one. Look how big old peach Oh, God. Look at how peach. Look at You know what? These are better, and I bet you it'll be even better cold. They're you not good. So? Yeah, they're not good at room temperature. I hope you didn't pay a lot for that. They were either two ninety nine. I believe they were two ninety nine a jar, y'all. Yeah. Mm -mm. And they were by the door. Yeah. With like they lot, were. With a lot there. It was a lot. That's there for yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, friend, man. you ain't do good. I miss some friend. Don't waste your money. Mm mm. I should have got them pickled um, okra. I should have got pickled okra. Somebody who was watching today, Platinum D. What's up, Platinum D? She was eating freeze-dried okra, where it was so crispy like a potato chip. Really? Yes, ma'am. Her and her daughter was popping them in their mouth like potato chip, and they was <gasps> like crunchy, crunchy. Interesting. I said, now those, the way they ate them sounded good. Okay, so that was taste testing with Jen and Jay. Yes. Until next time. <laughs> 
what's up y'all happy monday um i had no intentions on vlogging today but i had to show you guys this outfit that i absolutely love um i'm shooting content for this company called dianu i'm actually reshooting content because i shot all the pictures last week they just wouldn't they wasn't hidden and now i don't have any makeup on but guess what photoshop can add all of that in okay so girls who take pictures you don't need no makeup on because you can add all that in later okay but anyway so this is the outfit i absolutely love it this video is not sponsored by them but i think i was telling you guys in my last vlog or maybe it was this vlog i don't know i can't remember that these pants are absolutely amazing and i'm gonna ask the company can they send me them in black if they even have them if not i will actually buy them y'all oh the lighting is sucky oh there we go so it's this pantsuit i don't know if it comes as a set or separates i'm I'm sorry, I think it's separates, y'all. I think it's separates. But this is the color. It is black and blue, and I just put this bandeau on with it. Um, I pushed the sleeves up, silver jewelry. Get this. Tall thick girls. Tall thick girls. Look at this. Look at this. Do you see the no gap? Zero. Zero trousers. I always have a problem with gaps, and that's why I have a problem with the gaps and the length. That's why I don't really buy them. But look at this the waistband. Look how it's like spandex, it's literally like spandex. And if you can see, it comes all the way to the floor. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see my feet? Okay, y'all can see the bottom all the way to the floor and pockets and pockets anyways um they did give me a coupon code it's for instagram like i said i'm sponsored with them on instagram but i'm gonna share it here too i have extra large in the jacket and the pants if you guys are interested the dress that they sent me i'm not gonna show you guys just because i wasn't a fan of it but this set right here especially these pants bitch shifts kiss okay um let's see what time it is i think i gotta go pick the kids up in a minute yes so i need to get dressed well undressed and put my sweats on so i can go get the kids back in mom mode influencer mode is cut off for the day <laughs> and my room is a hot mess i need to change my sheets y'all know i usually change my sheets on sundays i didn't do that but it's okay i'm gonna change them today okay y'all i done picked up the kids from school got me some lunch went shopping for ethan's project and I met a subscriber, well, all of us did, because she first saw Ashton and she was like, oh my God, Gina's in the store. And then she saw me and Ethan. Um, so, hey, Miss Angela, how are you? Mwah. <laughs> saw her in Dollar Tree. But y'all, I wanna show y'all how I edit my pictures. I'm trying to see how I can show y'all how, y'all see, I ain't got no makeup on, zero. And this is how I took my pictures uh, earlier for that company. I want to show you guys how I edit my pictures to make it look like I literally got my makeup professionally done. The internet is fake, okay? The internet is fake. <laughs> okay, can I position this to where y'all can see? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can y'all see this? Maybe I do know if I do a screen recording, that's doing too much. But anyway, y'all see this picture. It's just a picture of me. No makeup on. I don't look bad. I mean, I look cute, you know, but it's just the raw image. No edits have been done to it. You know, I got a little fat pocket there sticking out a little bit. And my face just looks really plain, you know. So let's edit. So the app that I edit in first is called Beauty Plus. Child, I can't, hold on. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a screen recording. Let me do a screen recording. Okay, so I'm taking it up to 70%. Then the next thing I do, I just go in order. I go to makeup. So next I'm going to, lipstick is the first thing. I'm gonna do just a natural pink lip. So I would usually have my pinkness at like 50, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it at like 60, 70%. And there's different things over here on the side that you can do to, uh, if you want bigger top lip, more on the bottom lip. 
So all of these different ones, this is the original. So that's what I'm, I'm sticking with. I'm sticking with the original on all of them, y'all. So the next is blush. Because I have a pink lip, I need pink blush. And as you guys see, it just gave a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks. And of course, over here, you can do how you want your blush. But I'm just going to keep it on the original setting. But I have it at like 70, 80%. The next is contour. There's different kinds of contour on here. Because it's for a company, I'm going to do glam. I would usually do like young or daily, but I'm going to do it at glam. And we're keeping everything, guys, between like 70 to 80%. So there we go. And then let's see. We can look at a little different so far. Uh, this is the button you press to see the difference that it's made. Okay, so then next on the list is... Sometimes I use oiliness for my face, but I don't think I need it. I'm going to do slim. So I go straight to auto, and it automatically slims my face out. Watch this. Look. Y'all see that? It's real subtle, slimming my face out, especially at the bottom. So I like that. And then I'm doing it manually. So manually, for the slim, I need to slim out parts of my body so and i'm gonna because it's a detailed i'm taking the cursor down to make the ball smaller you can make the ball bigger or smaller i'm making it smaller and i'm taking in this fat right here see that and then on my elbow too y'all know i got fat arms so i'll probably make the circle a little bit bigger on my arm because we really want to take that arm in not too much to where it looks unnatural but just enough and then you can see the difference. See that? Okay. And then on this arm, just the outer part of my arm looks kind of big. So I'm going to go in and just take it in a little bit. Not too much. You know, we, we want to look good, but we don't want to look like perfect, perfect to where somebody see us in person. They're going to be like, she don't even look the same. So just slightly taking it in. And you got to be careful of like these things around it. Because if I take it in too much, look, this bar can get messed up. See that? And now that, see the white bar on the stairs? We don't want that. So let's undo that. So I just gently take in uh, parts of my arm where it's not like too, too, too much. So that looks good. So let's do, see so that's what it looks like so far. Okay, then next on here, is this still recording? Am I recording? Oh my God. Yes, it's recording. Okay, cool. All right, so then next on here, sometimes I do skin tone, which is this one right here, um, if I'm looking too pale, but my color looks fine on here. I don't use all these tools. Oh, I always use eye reshaping because I have small slanted eyes. So I always want my eyes to uh, appear a little bit larger in pictures. So we did that. Acne would be if I was having any blemishes on my face, a bruise on my arm I wanted to cover up, I would use acne because basically what acne does, it just takes spots away. So next we're at contour. This is my favorite one. Oh, I hope y'all can see that. I'm taking that contour all the way up, baby, to 74%. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Next is narrow for the nose. So I'm just going to take the nose... Not too much, you know, we want to embrace our nose. So down to 40, that's what I'm doing my nose at. Then the ones that have diamonds next to them, I don't know if y'all can see these icons that have diamonds next to them at the bottom. It means you have to like pay for the subscription and I ain't paying for it. This is the free version. <laughs> so next we're doing dark circles. So I'm going to take my dark circles down to like 50% because... I don't really have dark circles, and sometimes it looks unnatural when you do too, too much. And I don't want it to make me look like I'm, like, trying to make myself look too young, you know? So we're going to do that at, like, 40%. We still want to look our age, but we want to look, you know, we want to look good. Then I always, always, always do brighten because it makes the whites of your eyes pop out more. So I don't want to do too much because then I look like a cartoon. Look at that. I look crazy. So I just take it down to around like between like 40 and 50 percent. And that looks good. Now, if you guys can see, let me get a little bit closer. If you guys can see before, after. 
before, after. So it lit. Oh, Jesus, it literally looks like I got my makeup done, y'all. Okay, y'all. So that is how I edit all of my pictures. That is my main editing app. The app is called Beauty Plus. And then once I edit all the pictures that I like in Beauty Plus, I then do small edits in Facetune 2. So you see that pink one over to the side on the top row, Beauty Plus, that's what I do all the makeup and body edits to. Then Facetune 2 is where I, excuse me, I make it brighter, I make the colors more vibrant, especially like when I was in Miami, I made like the sky super blue, the water super blue. I brought out the details and the waves of the water. Um, if you have like black curly hair, you bring the detail, like they have that detail thing, you can make like the curls just like look super shiny and like popping and so that's the second one that I run it through and those are the only two that I use so I'm not going to show you guys that one I can probably do like a separate video on how um I edit my pictures I got to get these finished because the company I've already the company already approved them I just told them I got to make my little edits and this is my edits that I'm doing and um everything's already approved so I need to put these up in just a minute it's already five o'clock my good posting time on Instagram is between like 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. So it's already a little bit after five, so I need to hurry up. Mom duties in full effect. We're working on a project. Oh, hold on, let me refrain from that. I said we are working on a project. I am working on a project. Ethan is outside playing basketball right now, but we working on a shoebox float right now. So I'm about to make him get his little butt in here because I'm not doing all this work. But I'll do this type of stuff, like just covering the box. I printed out all the pictures that we needed. See, I keep saying we. The life of a mother. We, we, we. This is his work. His project. I'm just here to assist with the uh, scissors and glue. That's supposed to be my job. Anyway, we're making a float. It has to be about the state of California. So we printed out the state flower, the famous people who are from there, the state motto, the state flag, tree, all that. And so we're gonna decorate the box. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when we're done. I think Byron's here, cause Byron needed a favor. I think he's outside with the kids. I think that's why Ethan's been out there for so long. All right, so we are done. This is the way the float turned out. We got all of these things having to do with California. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good job, Ethan. Thank you. Helping me on my project. Um, my project for school? Mom did most of the work, y'all. I should shut up. Uh, While he was out there playing. Y'all's nephew was here. Oh, me? You know, y'all. Making his once a month visit. You know, y'all sticks to say won't follow me back on Instagram because she doesn't like me. Oh, God. That's crazy, right? I'll be saying the same thing. Anyways. And, I, and that's so pretty. That just looks so good, don't I? You are very handsome. I know I look so good. Yes, you are. Mm. Yeah. Guess who this is? Hold on. Y'all eating all my peanuts. Who's this, this y'all? Hold on. Who's this y'all? Who's that character? Yeah. By the eye. Ashton. It's an eye? That bag was full 10 minutes ago. Hey y'all, welcome to another day of the vlog. Y'all see I am rocking some, is this ginger colored? Some ginger colored hair. How do y'all feel about it? I actually love it. I love the way that I did it. Um, yeah, I love the way that I did it. But I don't know how I feel about the color. This is just so different for me. I want to do a side part straight with baby hairs on jet black hair. So y'all might be seeing that in the near future. But I think it's I think it's cute. Maybe I need to make my face up to uh, really get the full effect of it. But anyways, guys, it is what is it? So it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am about to go get my taxes done because we are two days away from tax day. Yes, I waited to the last minute. So I'm about to uh, take care of my business. So I just went grocery shopping this morning and now I'm about to take a really quick shower, throw my clothes on and head to see if I did any damage. 
what damage I did. When I was printing out all my tax papers, I was like, ooh, your girl made some money this year. Well, last year, 2021. Your girl made some bank. Now, I do gotta pay taxes on all that, but it feels good to know, like, I came out good, you know what I mean? So, anyways, I'm trying to get my last little stuff together because, you know, I'm last minute. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, let me put y'all down. I'll pick y'all back up once I'm uh, ready to walk out the door. Okay, this is today's outfit. This is a Forever 21 seamless legging set. These are legging sets I've been wearing recently in my videos, and I tell you guys that I just absolutely love so, so, so much. I can link them down below, but I think it was like $14 for the bottoms, maybe $10 or $12 for the top. A cropped Shein denim jacket, and then my Balenciaga sneakers. And yeah, my hair is matching my outfit. <laughs> Y'all, like two vlogs ago, I was telling you guys how a few times I've eaten scrambled eggs recently. It makes me projectile vomit. I cannot believe so many of y'all this happens to. I literally am like, I can't believe this. So many of y'all were like, every time I eat scrambled eggs, this happens. Not with hard boiled eggs, not with over easy eggs, only scrambled eggs. Um, some of y'all said that y'all had to switch to egg whites. Um, some of y'all said that y'all had to switch to organic eggs. Somebody suggested I take a probiotic. Somebody said just get rid of, you know, eggs, period, unless it's cooked in something. But so overwhelming numbers of y'all said that that happens to y'all. So I'm just glad that I'm not alone. I'm just going to give up scrambled eggs for now. Um, I know that I can eat them like on a sandwich and cooked and stuff and it doesn't bother me which is weird i mean yesterday i literally had a chick-fil-a breakfast sandwich that had chicken and egg on it but it the egg isn't scrambled the egg is like i guess that's called like fried hard and it's probably not even a real egg it's probably fake egg anyway uh just scrambled eggs by themselves i'm just not doing it no more i'm not gonna risk it um somebody was saying maybe it was the restaurant no because it happened when i cooked them at home and it happened at a restaurant so that's not it it's just I, I don't know i truly don't maybe it's the cheese that i put on them but anyway it is a nasty nasty day outside it was like this yesterday too just gloomy it looks like it's gonna rain but i don't think there's any rain on the forecast let me see nope there's no rain on the forecast and it says the sun is going to be coming out around 5 p.m so child houston weather is terrible y'all want to move here everybody said they want to move to houston first of all we're full the traffic is terrible because we're full and y'all want to deal with this humidity and nasty weather y'all don't want this stay with you stay with you oh two hours later and a lot of money later i'm back y'all okay so I knew I was gonna have to pay. Um, and I was kind of in the ballpark mentally of what I was gonna have to pay. Um, it went over by a little bit, but mentally I knew I had a number in my head. I'm like, this is what it's gonna be. Learn to ex just accept it. So what I paid back was five figures, five figures of money. And I just went ahead and paid it today. He said, "You, I had till Monday. You know, tax day, I told y'all, is Friday, the 15th. And I have till Monday. He said, I can do an extension and payment plans or whatever, but I'm going to accrue interest. I don't, want, I don't do the interest thing. I don't do that. That's why I don't fool with credit cards. Anyway, so I just paid it all off today. Whew, now... He said, because I asked him about, let me start driving, because let me get away from this motherfucker until next year. Oh, come on, Cor. So, there was a lot of things that actually helped me out to bring that number down to where it was um, that I'm probably not going to get to take advantage of next year. 
For example, I bought my son a car in 21. I bought myself a new car in 21. Um, I worked for the first full, full four months of 2021 that, you know, I worked a regular nine to five where taxes were being taken out. That helped me. Um, I was paying daycare for the first four months of 21, which is a lot of money. That helped me out. So it was a lot of things that happened in 2021 that helped out my situation, which brought it down to the number that it is, that is not going to be there when I do my taxes next year. Um, so like I said, I did ask him about um, paying quarterly. I don't even remember. I'm so discombobulated right now that I had to pay this amount of money that I, I don't even know if I just told you this or not. Like, did I just say that I was asking him about paying quarterly? Anyway, he said, instead of paying quarterly, he says, set up an, a, an account with irs.gov, get an ID me number. And with that ID me number, um, I can just pay as I go. He said, you can make payments every single month like it's a credit card. And once it's time to actually do my taxes, it'll show that I'll have a credit already with the IRS of 6000 10000 however much I decide to pay he said but every time he was like like every time you make money off of a sponsorship or you get money from youtube whatever he was like just pay 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 so i think i'm gonna try that out first before i just do the the uh, quarterly thing so this is editing gina from the future if y'all are in entrepreneurs in my uh situation where you don't want to pay it all at once every year um i've always heard about paying it quarterly but with him suggesting that I just um go in and then just make basically I'm making just future payments like I don't owe anything at that time but I'm just adding money to the to a bank to the IRS like just putting in money just putting in money just putting in money to where when it is time for me to do my taxes the following year I'll have already this credit built up so if, you, if any of y'all have ever done that, um, can y'all let me know down below or should I just go to doing them quarterly? Like what's what's best? I, I'm, I don't know because I'm just, I'm so new to this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> okay, y'all. So anyways, let me charge my phone. I, I need to eat. I have not eaten. <clears throat> it's 12 o'clock. I do have my amazing coffee that I told you guys about last vlog. Mmm. So good. <sighs> I need to make some phone calls, so. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So, I drove to the Houston Premium Outlets. Um, this is a outlet mall. I'm coming up here to see what's what. So I definitely don't need anything, but because I was already in the area, I'm like, let me go ahead and come. So I wish it was indoor, but for real. Okay, they got a True Religion outlet. Do folks still wear True Religion? I think True Religion is kind of making a little comeback. Little Vans. But I need to see if these are real outlets. Y'all know they be having outlet malls and the shit, only half the stores be outlets like real real outlet so like that literally says gap outlet that literally says old navy outlet <laughs> oh excuse me okay so the first stores i see versace and the burberry um we're gonna go on versace first is this the doors no doors are over here so this is a versace this is so pretty this is pretty too. Let me show y'all pricing if y'all care. So like a pair of pants. So we got bags. That's cute. T-shirt. So Versace had a beach tote that I love. I mean, absolutely love. 
I didn't show you guys just because I was the only person shopping and there was a bunch of associates. So it's just kind of weird to kind of film like that. But they had a beach tote that was so cute and it's made out of like a towel material. So I'd be able to fold that up and put it in my luggage when I travel. Y'all know the one that I bought from Emilio Pucci? That one is like a structured, I, anyway, I can't really hardly travel with that one. Oh, they have a cosmetics company store. Okay, we about to go in here and then we'll probably go to Burberry. And then I need food. Do y'all see that $14 for perfume? This is $14. I mean, oh my God, you can't beat that. I mean, these are all 75% off the ones up here. It's like Tommy Girl, the sample of that. This for men, this is for men. Oh, wow. These are $5. All this MAC lipsticks, y'all. Lashes, MAC, what is this? Eyeshadow, I think. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got some pretty colors here too. Yeah. And the big, big bottles. Oh. And that, that one that says Oud. Yeah, so I seen this 75% off Becca. Becca, and it says caramel. Y'all know I'm usually caramel in everything. Y'all look at this. And the gag is, baby, that's like vanilla porcelain. <laughs> Becca, my sister could wear this. Okay, so we're in Burberry now. Let me show y'all pricing so y'all can get an idea. So a coat, half price. That is weird. This is a beautiful blouse. Burberry blouse. How much? $4.59. That's really pretty. Oh, these are this one right here. That's pretty and classic. $2.50 ain't bad, really. Huge tote that's real pretty. Now, this coat is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Too bad we don't have winters. Now, who in the hell? Who gonna wear that? Express is next. Ooh, my lens is like fogging up. So Express I'm seeing now is really not my cup of iced coffee, but I know my sister said they had really good leggings in here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find some leggings. Ew. Okay, large schlotzkies. I got a turkey avocado sandwich. Jalapeno chips. I wish I had got a size medium. I got the small and this thing is tiny. Okay. Y'all, Schlotzky's was so good. I was going to go eat at um, Jason's Deli right over here. And I told myself I was going to sit down for lunch today. So when I pulled up at this Jason's Deli over here, y'all, I broke down. I broke down crying because the last time I went inside this Jason's Deli, I was with my mom. So just seeing the parking spot that she parked in, the parking spot that I parked in, and through the window, seeing the table that we sat at, it just, I don't know, it just, it made me feel some type of way and I, I, I broke down.
and then I left and I went to um, Schlotsky's. It's just crazy that you can see something, smell something. Just grief, it just comes in waves. Like, it'll come, it'll go, it'll come, it'll go. I usually cry about my mom probably twice a week. I'm down to like, I'm down to once or twice a week now. This week I've cried about her twice and it's only Wednesday. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just, it's something that you never get over. You never get over it. It never gets easier. I hate, I absolutely hate. And I think it's so disrespectful when people tell you, oh, it's gonna be, get better. It's gonna be okay. Oh, it gets easier. No, the fuck it don't. It don't. And don't tell people that. Anyone who has lost a child or a parent, do not tell them that shit. Like, you might feel like you don't you don't know what words to say to them. So the easiest thing to say is, oh, it'll be okay. It'll get better. It'll get easier. Don't ever say that shit to nobody. Especially if you've never experienced it. Because grief does not go away. Th those emotions do not go away. This is the fourth year my mother has been gone and I cry every single week. Every week, not a week goes by where I do not shed tears thinking about my mom. I can't imagine the people who have lost children. I cannot fathom that thought. Just, just me even speaking it gets me emotional thinking about it. So that's just, just a little word to the wise. Don't ever say that to anybody who has lost somebody in their immediate family. Like that's not, and then don't compare. Oh, this is another one that killed me. People compare them losing an aunt, an uncle, a cousin to me losing my mother. Now, yes, I understand losing anybody in your family that's close to you is devastating, but don't ever compare your aunt to a parent okay don't ever do that I do, do, people did that to me when when my mom passed they was DMing me and said oh I just lost my aunt so I know what you're feeling bitch no the fuck you do not and don't the bitch I'm gonna block you now I don't give a damn it ain't the same it ain't Losing a parent and a child is not the same. And honestly, I think losing a child is fucking worse. So I would never tell someone who lost a child, oh, I lost my mom, so I know how you feel. The fuck? I have every right for them to turn around and slap me if I say that. So I'm just, a, I'm a little emotional right now. I'm a little on edge, as you guys can see, so I apologize. But um, until you experience that, uh, losing a parent, especially a parent that you were best friends with. I don't even care if the fuck if y'all best friend, a fucking parent. The person that brought you in this world, raised you to be the adult that you are. It don't matter what the age is. That, that, that shit not going away. The grief does not go away. We learn how to cope with it. That is it. We learn how to cope with it. We learn how to move day to day now dealing with this loss. So it never goes away. It never gets smaller. We just learn how to live with it and cope with it, okay? I can go to Jason's Deli drive through It was just something that triggered me just because I had every intent to go inside and eat. And it just, it triggered me. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to pick the babies up. It is rainy, it is nasty. I left the outlet after like i think i went to maybe four stores it started raining so i was like i don't need to be spending no money after all the money i just gave to irs and so but i did get i did get me a goodie bag of stuff that i will show you guys later um i found the leggings that my sister was talking about in express the the the, the fabric it's just they were $40 leggings with 40% off, which is still to me expensive for leggings when I know I can buy some good ass leggings for $3.99 or $5.99 from Dee Dee's. Or if I wanna get bougie with it, I can go on Amazon and buy my favorite leggings for like $17, you know? So spending whatever that equals out to, I can't do math that good in my head. $40, $40 with 40% off, what is that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, um, 
It's still over 20 bucks. I know that. So I didn't get them. Didn't get anything out of the uh, designer stores. There was a shirt at Burberry that I really, really wanted, but I'm just like, $500 shirt. How many wears can I really get out of a $500 shirt? I just, I couldn't justify spending that today. Like, and I still have that MCM shirt blouse that I got from the other outlet a month ago. And I still haven't worn that one. And that one was an amazing deal. I think I only paid like 180 for that one. But anyway, Cosmetics Company store, I can't, I can't ever go in there and not buy something. Like the deals are just too good. So I really wanted to buy some perfume, but I'm like, mm, two bros. Anyway, there's this uh, white Tom Ford that they always have in every um, CCS location I've ever been in. And every time I smell it, it's like, I want it. But I'm like, it doesn't really smell that great. But I want it just to say I have it. Like, that's dumb. That's stupid. That's why I've never bought it. Ooh, I'm early picking the kids up. Like, early, early. Okay, y'all. Let's do a little haul. A little unboxing. So, of course, we'll do the CCS last. My package from Aritzia came. Y'all should already know what it is. If you Okay, so this is how it came. Packaged in this cute little bag. And it said Aritzia right here. Anyway, I ordered two more of those jumpsuits. I already told y'all I, I got it in brown that day in store. So I got it in this mint color. It's called sage green. And then of course I had to get black. So these are amazing. They are called, they're called the look jumpsuit. I have a size medium. That's how much they stretch. So, I mean, and they snatch you, snatch, snatch, snatch. The medium was perfect. So now I have three colors. I got the brown sitting over there, sage and black. It also comes in like a powdery blue color, but I don't really wear blue. I don't think y'all have ever seen me wear blue. Now let's get on to the cosmetics company store. So I got some, what is this called? Some Mac iridescent loose powder. So this, um, it says iridescent, but it didn't look iridescent to me. Oh, I'm lying. I'm so lying. I was thinking about something else. Yeah, this is definitely iridescent. I said I was gonna probably wear this during the summertime and even probably uh, brush them like on my shoulders and chest just to kind of give like a tan look. So this one was originally $30. I got it for 12. Then we got some NW42. That's the color I got. It's a little bit, it ain't dark. It's, it's pretty much my color. I'm gonna say that. I'm, it's, it's pretty much my color. But this is Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. This was $5. And the original price was $24. Next, we have a brush, a kabuki brush from Becca. This was originally $30. I got it for $7.50. Next, we have some MAC Mineralized Concealer. I got it in the color NW25. Y'all know this is gonna go under my eyes, so... It's light, but y'all know it's for under eye. This was originally 28 and I got it for $5. Then we got some Origins uh, Black Face Mask. Well, it's a charcoal, a charcoal activated face mask. This was originally 28 and I got it for $5. Then we have Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. I got it in the color Medium Deep. So that's how that looks. It's just some... Some loose powder. It's just something like I would brush on my face at the very end just to bring everything together, you know. So this was originally $31 and I got it for $12.40. I didn't buy that perfume, y'all, that I told y'all I was going to buy because of the price was so cheap. I just figured it was the one ounce bottle. I'm like, for $14.50, I mean, that's like Ross prices. I could probably get that small little bottle from Ross. If it was like, um, and y'all know I just bought a big bottle of the um it's like a coconut kind of smelling dkny and i got that one for 14 dollars. so i'm like i don't need another dkny and then it's a smaller size like mm -mm. but then i got some joe malone lotion this is my first time ever treating myself to like some luxury lotion i never buy i never buy luxury lotion ever i've been meaning to buy that fenty lotion it comes in a jar similar to this 
and everybody says it's just so moisturizing. I've been meaning to buy that one. And then there's also a Laura Mercier um, jar of lo body lotion that all the girls say is really moisturizing as well. But anyway, I treated myself to this one. Um, it was originally 86 and I got it for 43. So I got all these items. Let me show y'all. So I got all these items for $97. 90s. I wish it would give me a total of how much it would have been before all of the discount, but it don't, so it's okay. But this smells so good, y'all. So good. Once this is out, I probably will get that um, Fenty Skin one. I'm showered by the grease down. Now I'm about to do a little mini skincare routine. Um, you guys have seen my skincare routines. A lot like it's nothing special i'm gonna show y'all which products that i've started using and then that's pretty much it um i just i just fed the kids they're eating pizza and tater tots ashton said pizza and tater tots don't go together hold on let me hold on brawny girl y'all check out brawny that girl that her, her sense of fashion i just be looking and like i wish i wish i wish i was that small to where i could just Rock all that stuff, all the fly stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, Ashton was saying pizza and tater tots don't go together. I'm like, tater tots are like french fries. French fries go with anything. I would literally eat some salmon and french fries. I would eat salad and a side of french fries. I would eat some Alfredo pasta and a side of french fries. And I feel the same way and love about tater tots. Like, it goes with anything. What, what, what you talking about? <laughs> But they got back from basketball practice at nine o'clock, so that's why I had to just do something really super quick. Okay, Ugh. let me do my face. Let me do my face. L-A-M-O-R-O-U-S, we fly first class. Oh, that's too much. Up in the sky, in the champagne, living my life. Oh, moisturizer kind of thick, 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 like me. Thick and some cold grits. I love a good eye cream, a good under eye cream. Y'all look at this outfit. This is a, not outfit, I'm calling it an outfit. You know what I think it is meant to be an outfit? I got it from uh, TJ Maxx or Mar Marshalls, out the clothing section. But it was only $14. You know, I, this is the type of shit that I just, I sleep in this type of stuff. Yeah, it was like $14. Super stretchy. Really, really comfortable. I'll be pushing this to the limit, y'all. This is my little lip mask that I really should have been done with. Oh, here we go. Some came out. I can probably get one more use out of there. And then cut it. And then spray my finger in it. You know. You know the types of ratchet shit that I do. Trying to get every penny's worth. But anyways, I'm done with my skincare. Skin is looking the same. I don't know. Glowy. What y'all think? Anyways, I'm about to end the vlog here. I'm tired. This is going to be an early night for me. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm probably about to um, cut a YouTube vlog on. Lay down in the dark. And hopefully fall asleep before 11. That would be really nice. So anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I love y'all so much. Until next time, peace out.